In this video, we'll talk about the process of immigrating a sibling to the United States. I'll go through a step-by-step -step process and also I'm going to explain how long it's going to take for the brother or sister of a US citizen to finally get their green card. Hello everybody and welcome back to Immigration Channel. This is where we explain complex immigration matters in short, simple videos. We make immigration easy. And in this video, I'm going to go over the complex process of immigrating a sibling, a brother or sister to the United States. Many people are confused and don't understand why it's taking so long. And I'm going to explain to you in this video the different steps in the process and how to check the time that it's going to take for your brother or sister to finally get their green card and move to the United States. But before we do that, if you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos, and also give us a big like so YouTube will be able to show this video to more people just like you. As always, if you need my help with your immigration matter, please send me a text right here, 619-483-4549. Now let's talk about the process of immigrating a brother or a sister to the United States. In order to do so, the first step is that you must be a US citizen. Only US citizens can immigrate their brothers and sisters to the United States. Step number one is to file the immigrant visa petition on form I-130. This is a form that is filed with the USCIS inside the United States and depending where you live, the address to file this will change. But this will be the first step of a US citizen to file for their foreign sibling who is currently overseas. Once the I-130 is approved, right now it's taking over 14 months, close to 16 months in some states to get this approved, you'll be able to essentially see, you'll be able to see the priority date on the receipt. This is the date when this case was approved and also it will be a reference date for you for the future as you continue to monitor this case. The receipt number will also give you the case number of your sibling will you be able to log in to the immigration website and check on the status of this petition every single time. Now, once the I-130 has been approved, that's not the end of the process. You have to realize that because brothers and sisters are not considered to be immediate relatives of US citizens, unlike spouses or children under 21, they are going into what is called a preference system. They have to wait in line for their visa numbers to become current. Now let's hop on to the visa bulletin for a second. I'm going to show you how to read it when it comes to siblings cases. And for the reference of this video, we're going to go for the December 2023 visa bulletin. But it doesn't matter. When you're watching this video, you're going to go to the visa bulletin of the month when you're actually watching this video and the process will be the same. All right, guys. So we're looking at the visa bulletin. This is final action dates. And the reason why we look in the final action dates, we have two charts, final action dates and dates for filing. Final action date mostly applies for applicants that are currently overseas, they're not in the United States. And also, this is the final action dates when the visas are gonna be ready and you'll be able to get your green card. So, siblings are considered to be category F4. This is the last category. Let's just say that your sibling is from Europe. Let's say they are French. So we're going to go to category of four. We're going to go to all charitability. And then we're going to look at this particular date. Currently, it's April 22nd, 2007. That means that, as I, as I mentioned before, if your priority date is before April 22nd, 2007, you are now going to be eligible to move forward in your case. And I'll explain to you what it is in a second. Now, if you're from China, Right now, it's April 22nd, 07, it's the same. But if you're from India, right now they're working on October 2005. If you're from Mexico, it's even worse. They're working on September 2000. And the Philippines, they're working on August 2002. So you can see uh, Mexico over 20 years of wait for siblings, the rest of the world about 14, 15 years. So as you can see, as I explained to you in the chart, after step number two of the I-130 is approved, you have to go back to this chart that I just explained to you and check and see what priority date they are working on. As I explained to you now, because of the long backlogs and the long wait time that siblings are going through, right now they are working on 2007 for most of the world, which means it's over 14 years wait. That's why there's such a long wait, because the priority date now is behind for many, many years. So assuming Fast forward, years go by, or maybe the administration will do something to speed this up. 
They're talking about different reform measures, which might change the system. Who knows, maybe in a few years, it's not gonna be that long, but for now, that's what it is. So let's say years go by and your priority date is now current. We're moving to step number four. Your application will go to the National Visa Center. At that point, this is an agency that processes applications from UCIS to the State Department. You're gonna submit form DS-260, your financial records to show you can afford to support you, your sibling. And you're gonna wait for the National Visa Center to send your case to the US Embassy to schedule your appointment for a visa interview. Five, you will attend the visa interview, provide all the documents they need, do your medical exam, and step number six, visa is issued for six months, and then you have six months to enter the United States, and upon entry, you will get your green card as a proud green card holder and a sibling of a US citizen. What is the fastest way to bring a sibling to the United States? Well, unfortunately, unless you're talking about a spouse or a child under 21 or a parent, who come really, really fast, they don't have to wait. Siblings have to wait under the preference system that I explained earlier in the video, and there is no faster way to get them over here. However, they can come here as workers, work for a US company, they can come as students, they can come, you know, start their own business. So they can come on other visas, and while they're here, your petition as a sibling, as a US citizen sibling, will be working in the background. So they can come here, but on other known immigrant visas. How long does it take for these I-130 petitions to get approved right now? Well, right now it's close to 14, 15 months, average. Can you expedite the I-130 petition for a sibling if you wanted to move faster? Probably yes. You have special reasons like a severe financial loss, maybe an emergency situation, a humanitarian situation, or you're working on some kind of US compelling government interest, if you fit any of these requirements, you could potentially expedite the I-130 pending for your sibling. What are the actual requirements for you to be able to sponsor a sibling? First of all, you have to be a US citizen. Second, you have to be 18 years and older. Third, you have to have a qualifying relationship with your sibling. You have to prove it with a birth certificate and documents like that. Then you have to prove that you're financially willing to sponsor them by filling form I-864 and showing your financial records like taxes, employment, and, th and things like that. And finally, your sibling does not have disqualifying factors, criminal, or any issues involving drugs or any other things that will impact national security in the United States. And finally, can the sibling, your brother or sister, come to the United States while the petition is pending? I-130, yes. If they already have a tourist visa, they can come. Hopefully this information is very helpful. If you're trying to get your sister or brother over here, you know what to do. Send me a text, 619-483-4549. I'm here to help you. Look forward to helping you with your immigration case.